is my new painting. I thought I'd do an art tutorial for you to show you exactly how I, I did it. But after the art tutorial, I don't expect you to be able to paint this. It's, I'm literally doing this tutorial just to give you some ideas on how to paint the pictures that you choose to paint. And I must just say that although this is a painting of the Vatican, this is an art tutorial and this isn't a religious debate. I've painted this for a very lovely nun who I think very highly of and that is why I've, I've painted this painting. So, let's get on with the art tutorial. First thing that I always do before I paint a picture is just have a little look over the internet and get some source photos or source pictures just so I can get a general idea what I am painting or drawing. And then, in this particular instant, I have sketched out a general picture of the Vatican. I've only done this as it's a 3D object, therefore it needs to be technically right. So I've just done this sketch. You don't have to worry greatly about the sketch if it's not perfect, or if you have lots and lots of lines over the sketch. Because not only will you be painting over the sketch, so you won't be able to see the lines, but you can also just rub the lines out. When I've, I'm happy with my sketch, I've just painted over um, in black, brown and a lighter brown the different areas to make it look like a 3D shape. And then I've decided for the sky, um, through most of this painting, I'm just doing washes. Washes of very, very thin paint. It's a little bit of paint with a lot of water. So I've just put a, a blue wash on the back of this painting to make it look as if the Vatican is actually somewhere and it's not floating in midair. So I've popped that on the back. It doesn't have to be block colour. The more different shades of blue you get with a wash or whichever colour you're using, the better because it just adds more depth to the painting. I've also added a little pink to the sky as well and then I've started to do some detail with the clouds I've made them go across the whole picture so it's all joined together nicely and after after a little bit of work on the clouds I've, all, I've added a little bit of yellow where I believe the Sun will be and a little bit of pink and then I've done a yellow a light yellow wash over the whole of the sky just to add some more depth and I've also picked out some more detail of the clouds with some white paint. I've done it bold because I'm going to do another wash over the top of this in just a second. So here is the orange wash. It makes it a very dramatic sky, I think. So I've popped this orange wash over the whole of the sky in the background. As you can see, there's you can still see a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, and, and the white from the clouds, which makes it look more interesting. And then I've just picked out some detail with some yellow paint where I believe the sun will hit the clouds. And I've done a yellow wash underneath the clouds just to make that sun look as if it's really shining or setting. Then I've just quickly, with another wash, just made a general marker of where I believe the shadow would be on the picture. So I've just popped that on there and just made it darker and darker which I think gives the picture a much better sense of depth. I've done this in brown so it isn't lost with the black of the back because if you do it in black as well you're going to lose the lovely curves so I've done that in brown. And now I've just started with a light wash, a light white wash to add the front pillars of the gateway and just the triangles on top and I've continued with that white along the front arms and added some more pillars there and by the time those pillars dry I can add a little bit more white to the gateway pillars because if you use washes it dries really quickly which makes it easier to add up layer upon layer. I always feel it's best to continue colours all the way through the painting so as it's an orange and yellow background I've used orange and yellow on the front pillars of the gateway and some orange and yellow on the roof just to give it a real sense of depth. I've added a bit more yellow to the front gateway and I've also added the pillars at the back in white, very lightly in white. As I'm using the white, I've just added some more white to the front pillars. And here in this picture, I've just got a general idea of the 
what the front of the Vatican looks like by adding a little bit of white and then so I know where the doors and windows are I've just put a little bit of orange on the front as the Vatican doors and windows are red and orange a ready orange colour and now I'm just adding detail I'm tidying the picture up with white and beige by going round the detail on the Vatican and adding just general lines down on the pillars it is just vertical lines I'm adding but the more lines you put on with with the slightly different color in paint the more interesting the painting becomes I've also tidied up the front gateway the triangles and the pillars going down and now I've, I've made the Vatican more dramatic by adding the dark tones to the building and finally before I sign it I've just put a yellow wash over the background behind the Vatican so the Sun really looks like it's shining and followed followed through with a little bit of yellow on the front gateway I've added the beige I was using for the Vatican to the walkway at the front where the Sun is shining just to make it look more natural and then finally I sign it when the painting is completely dry I added three layers of gloss varnish to protect the painting letting it dry between each layer for ease I used a spray varnish it's much much easier and when that is dry you can pop it in the frame the frame you pick to frame your painting is very important and it really needs to reflect the contents of the painting that's why I've chosen this gold frame for this particular painting because if you ever go to the Vatican then you'll see lots and lots of paintings with these beautiful gold frames so that is why I picked this particular one and I think it sets off the painting very nicely I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it's given you some inspiration and some knowledge to get out there and get painting thank you bye